Hello, DM. Good afternoon. Hello, Disha. Good afternoon. Yes, I'm sorry to keep you waiting because my internet is, has a problem okay. early. Anyway, so how are you today, DM? Uh, I'm good. How about you? I'm good too. Thank you for asking. Um, DM, I would like to inform you ahead of time that on Friday I'll be absent, but don't worry because um, I will still inform in the group chat before before Friday. Yeah, so on Friday, we will not have class. That's why we are having a makeup class today. This will cover three lessons, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay. Yes. Okay. So here, DM. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so we are now in our test for reading and writing, yeah? So here in part one, are we, we're done with this, right? No. Not yet? I no. Ah, okay. So here in part one, can you see the screen clearly, DM? Uh, no. Ah, still no. Okay, I'm gonna send this to you here it is yeah it's done now yeah Okay, so here in part one is question one to five. You will get five points if all your answers are correct. I want you to answer which notice from A to H says these questions one to five. So for questions one to five, DM, you can just mark the correct answer A to H on the screen. Yeah, so we have example. Four cheaper tickets travel from Monday to Friday. So that's letter B. All flights have price weekdays only. Okay, so I'll give you the time to answer this one and please tell me if you're done so that we can check. Okay.
Thực cho phí ní. So please read your answer. You can listen to a writer here one evening this week. Please read your answer, DM. And number yeah. one. Yeah, I see. Okay, Thursday, 8 p.m., Martin Banks will read from his latest book. This is letter C. Very good. Number two, if you have lost a book, call this number. Okay, that's letter F. Always keep your bags with you. That's letter G, City Airport, do not leave your luggage unattended. Four, when you have finished reading, put back all the books. That's letter A. You can eat lunch during this meeting. That's letter E. So great job because five out of, you got perfect score here. Five out of five. So now, DM, in part two, I want you to read the sentences about going to concert. You choose the best word, ABC, for each space. For question 6 to 10, it's 5 points. You mark ABC on the screen. So this is just an example. I went to a pop concert with some friends last Friday. Kindly look at my screen. Can you see it well now? Yeah. Okay. So now, I want you to read and circle your answer. Ấy. So we have here, I finished my classes at 5 and went home to get ready for the concert. I spent half an hour looking for the tickets. The concert started at 8 and it, I didn't want to arrive late for the first band. The music was very loud, so I had to shout my friends. I had great job. Okay, you got... 10 out of 10 for part 1 and 2. So let's proceed with part 3. I want you to answer questions 11 to 15. You complete the 5 conversation for questions 11 to 15. You can mark A, B, C on your answer sheet here. Yeah, so this is example where are you came from. I came from New York. Yes. So here, you can circle your answer. Yeah. 
Sure, okay, so we have your I don't think I can come to the concert. That's are you sure you can't? Let's have supper now. Bill isn't here yet. Have you shut the windows? That's you don't remember. I'll just check. I'm sorry. My street is too noisy. That's a PT. Can I speak to John, please? Speaking. Okay, so for this one, you have two mistakes. So that's 13 out of 15. That is still a good score, Diem. Okay. So now let's proceed with our part four. It's question 16 to 20, still five points. I want you to complete the conversation between two friends. What does Helen say to Amy? For question 16 to 20, you mark the correct letter A to H on your answer sheet. So here it is.
Okay, so I want you to read your answer. I mean the sentence of your answer. Let's have a conversation. You will be Helen. I can't decide what subject to study at university. Which subject are you best at? Okay. That's letter H. I always do well in chemistry exams. Well, that is an interesting and useful science subject. I don't agree. I don't like it. What I really enjoy study is history. Have you taken it to your picture about it? Okay. Yes, they all say I should choose the subject I enjoy the most. What about your parents? Well, dad wants me to do business studies so I can earn a lot like you. I agree. Money is quite important, but I think your teacher are right. So I should choose history then. So for this one, you got a perfect score all in all. You got 17 out of 20. So let's proceed now with our part four. It's questions 21 to 7. All in all, that's 7 points. So I want you to read the article about Cory Vale Farm. Then you answer the question, are the sentences right or wrong? If it is right, you can uh, put A. Then if it's wrong, you choose B. If the sentence doesn't say, you can choose C. For questions 21 to 7, you can choose A, B, A, B C. So here is the text about Cory Vale Farm. So please read that one loudly, DM, and you can write your answer.
Do you have any? Okay, so let's check. The blockers earn more from their sheep than from their animals. That's right. Jenny only gets wool from her sheep once a year. That's wrong. It took Jenny a long time to make the sweaters. That doesn't say. Jenny doesn't sell the sweaters because it was wrong time of the year. It's right. Jenny decided that socks were easier to make than sweaters. That's letter C. Cory socks are still made of the form. That's letter B. You can't buy Cory Veil socks for children. Letter B. People from many different countries buy Cory Veil socks. A. Okay, so for this one, you got 23 out of 27. So now let's proceed with part 5. It's 28 to 35, still 7 points. I want you to read the article about the global theater and you choose the best word A, B, or C for each space. So for questions 28 to 35, you can mark A, B, C on your answer sheet. So here it is, yeah. Okay, so now, DM, I want you to read loudly the Globe Theater together with your answer. 
visiting the tree tree in London for hundred years. There was very different from this thing a modern this tree. The building was round. Uh, there was no roof, and people got cold and wet. If the weather was bad, the queen loved going to the gold the trees by the river they missed to see the play of William Save Kid People or, or the actual attempt woman the victor ate talking talking to their friend working about during the show and some people even threw things at the action. Today it is still proposed to visit the global tree. A new deer tree stands in the same place near the river. Near near the river, you can enjoy a sacred period play there or just learn about life in the 17th century. Okay, so thank you for reading that one, Diem. You got 31 out of 35, but a perfect score here in this part. So now, here in part 6, it's 36 to 40. That's 5 points all in all. I want you to read the descriptions of some food and drink words. Then you answer the question, what is the word for each one? The first letter is already there. Yeah, so there is one space for each other letter in the word. For questions 36 to 40, you can write the words on your answer sheet. So example, you need this to cut up meat. That is a knife, okay? How about this one, DM? 36 to 40, I want you to write your answer on the blank provided. I think we do, we do this. Are you sure? Yeah. I think not yet. Yeah, it's Okay, so we have here bowl, vegetable, water, waiter, lemon, and fry. Okay, you got 40 minus 4, 36 out of 40. So now this is part 7, questions 41 to 50. I want you to complete the letter. You write one word for each space. For question 41 to 50, you write the words on your answer sheet. So we have one example here. Take your time. You can write your answer here. 41, 42, 43, 44 until 50.
Sei que já vi. Ok, so here, I want, wait, let's check your answer. I go eat every hour last, the colors is to and off. I want you to read the letter together with the correct answer, Deb. Dear Jeff. Dear yeah, Jeff, I'm, ha I'm having a good holiday in Australia when we arrived two weeks ago. The weather was bad. And it was cold. Now the weather is better, and we go to the beach every day. This week we are staying in Sydney, but uh, last week we went to the Great Barrier Reef because the way the water was so warm. I love swimming there. The fish are the fish were all different, colorful. Red, yellow, purple, Australia is very beautiful. We don't want to come home. See you at the end of September. Okay, so that's it. So for this one, you got 46 out of 50, which is a perfect score in part seven. So this is part eight. It is um questions 51 to 55. You will get five points if your answers are correct. I want you to read the advertisement, this one, and the email, which is this one, and you fill in the information in Luke's note for questions 41 to 55. You write the information on the answer sheet here. Yeah. Okay, so here it is. We have Chelsea are playing against Arsenal. The match starts at 2 p.m. The ticket for children under 5 is free. Call Jimmy on Thursday. Jimmy's brother will get me from my house. Very good. Perfect score. All in all, 51 out of 55. Yes. So now let's proceed with... Uh, what's this? Part 9. So here in part 9, it is question 56. I want you to read the note from your friend, Ali. Then you write a note to Ali and answer her questions. This is five, 10 points, 25 to 35. Sorry, I couldn't come to your birthday party. What did you do at the party? Who was there? What presents did you get? You can write your answer here, DM. Answering this question to Ali, yeah.
or maybe you can just write like this one, like type in your computer. Yeah, so that it would be clean.
Are you done, Diem? Yeah, you're done. Okay. So, look at this one. Dear Ali, so a name of a person should start always start with a capital letter. Always remember that. And next to the name is a comma, which is this one here. This is a comma. I wasn't angry when you didn't come in my birthday party. It was great. Small. This is just small. It was great. In my party, capital letter, I played games with my friends and talked with them happily, ate ice cream, cakes, comma, ate ice cream, comma, cakes and dishes. Capital. My friends and my family, I receive many gifts in there. There are bag, video game. I hope next year I can gifts from you. See you soon. Okay, very good. You got a perfect score, twenty-five out of I ten out of ten. So that's um. I don't know, but that's a perfect score. Okay, maybe six, uh, 56 out of 60. So this is the, this is a sample answer. Dear Ali, at the party, I ate a pizza with my friends, Jean and Marie. We saw a film and that I had presents, a lot of CDs and a computer game. It was very good. Bye, Luke. Okay, so now we're done with our reading and writing. So we were, we will, we will proceed with the next one, which is... What's this? 179. Let me see. This is speaking. Okay, so speaking, normally we do the speaking test with another candidate. So since you are the only student I have, it should, it would be you and me. Let's talk, we will talk. Then there are two parts of the speaking test. Part one, it is a short question and answers between you and teacher AM. Part two, I will give you some information or a card with some ideas for questions. Then you have to talk to me and ask or answer question. So please note that the speaking section is worth 25% of the total score for the exam. How to prepare for cat speaking them? You speak as much as you can, then practice asking and answering questions about daily life. Yes, and practice giving information about yourself. Try to avoid giving one word answer. Always expand your answer if that's necessary. Okay, so here, are you now ready to begin? Yeah. Yes, so I'm going to ask you a question. Do you like shopping? Yes, I very really like shopping in my free time. Okay, so where do you usually shop? I use the uh, go to uh, Vincom uh, and some uh, play have um, my favorite shop. Yes. Okay. So what's your favorite shop? My favorite shop is uh, uh, Zara or uh, H&M. Ah, Zara and H&M? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I love that shop also, but they are a little bit expensive, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, so what do you usually buy? I usually buy a jacket or a t-shirt. Okay, so do you buy designer clothes? Why or why not? Uh, I'm not uh, usually buy uh, because uh, it's very expensive. Yes. So when you go to Zara and H.A.M., do you buy crop tops? Are you familiar with crop tops? Yeah, I usually buy crop tops. Uh, hmm. yeah. 
it is shorter than the t-shirt, do you wear crop tops? Yeah. Yes, I have. Okay. So, where do you go to get the latest fashions? Where do you go to get the latest fashions? Uh, I, uh, uh, shopping mall. Uh-huh, yeah. Are you a fashion victim? Why or why not? I think not because, uh, my fashion is, uh, um, is, uh, popular. Ah, so you go always on what's trending. Yeah. Okay. So when did you last go shopping? When did you last uh, go shopping? It's uh, in um, Monday. Monday. What did you buy last Monday, DM? Uh, I buy a clothes. Okay. Ah, yes. Okay, so thank you for answering my question. So now let's learn different kinds of shops. We have here cafe. What can you see in a cafe? Uh, DM when you go at the cafe. Uh, I see the uh coffee shop, uh, a tree and a menu. Yeah, a menu. So, do you like drinking coffee? Mm, not too much. Not too much. Okay. Next, we have market. What can you do? You always go to the market. Mm, uh, no. Because uh, my mother buy everything. Ah, yeah. Okay, so what can you see in the market? In the market, I can see uh, a lot of food. Mm. A lot of food. food. What kind of food? Uh, vegetable, uh, meat, or fish, or mm, something. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so bookshop, yes, we can we can we can buy books at the bookshop. Do you like reading books, DM? Yes, I really like reading books. Very good. We have here next candy shop where we can buy sweets, clothes shop, fashions, computer shop, computer accessories, DVD rental, music shop, mall. Okay, so mall is a big one because there are bookshops, candy shop, cafe, clothes shop, music shop, and computer shop inside the mall. Even pet shop. Yeah, green grocers. What do you mean by green grocers, DM? Green grocers. Uh, it is vegetable shop. Yes. It's vegetable shop. Then we have here bakery. Yeah, we can cake, breads, pastries, restaurant where we eat, gift shop, toy shop, shoe shop, sports shop, donut shop. Do you like donuts? Oh, I don't think I don't like to donut. It's, uh, it's too sweet. Yeah, it's very sweet. Florist. What about florist? What is a florist? Florist. Uh, Do you know what the is a florist? Yeah. Flower shop. Yes, very good. It's a flower shop. Then we have here camera shop. So we have different kind of shops. Can you repeat all of them, DM? Yes. Uh, coffee market, bookshop, candy shop, clothes shop, computer shop, DVD, DVD rental, music shop, mall, pet shop. Green Cruise is bakery, restaurant, gift shop, toy shop, shoe shop, spot shop, donut shop, flower shop, uh, camera shop. Yeah, so what's your favorite shop, DM? Uh, I think it's a bakery shop. 
bakery <laughs> yeah because you can eat <laughs> okay so that's good because you're not into material things you're into foods that's good yeah okay so now let's learn the useful vocabulary that we can use when we are shopping when you say big brand names these are large well-known companies or product names when you say well-known, that is popular or famous. Can you please give me some example of big brand names, Diem? Uh, Zara. Zara, very good. Uh, mm. Better name as uh, uh, Mango. Yeah, Mango, H&M, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Nike, Adidas. Yeah, those are the big brand names. So here, to be careful with money. When your mom tell you, okay, I'm going to give you $10,000. But I want you to be careful with money. That means not overspend. Don't buy things that are not necessary. Next, we have high street names. These are well-known shops. What are the well-known shops, DM? Well-known shops. Well. It is quite the same with well-known brand names. Yeah, but well-known shops can be a restaurant. Uh. Yeah, clothes shop. What would it be? Uh, Louis Vuitton. Yes, Louis Vuitton. Very good. Or what about um restaurant that is um uh, high street names, well known restaurant that Mi is Michelin. What's that? Michelin. Michelin restaurant. I don't know what's that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please write? <laughs> Michelin restaurant. I don't know this one, DM. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what other uh, restaurant that is famous? Not just in Vietnam, but worldwide or international restaurant. Uh, I think... Um, it's everything I'm saying, my dear, it's everything I'm saying. Uh, McDonald's. McDonald's. Very good. KFC, Jollibee, Burger King. Yes, those are high street names. Next, we have must-have product. That means a product that is very popular that a lot of people want to have. Can you give me a product that is very popular now that a lot of people want to have this one? What's that? Example. Aqua Flash. Are you familiar with Aqua Flash? What is Aqua Flash? That is a tumbler. Tumbler. 
we use for when we drink water, we used to store water in it. That's very famous now, Aqua Flash. Or what else? Maybe iPhone. Okay. Yeah, iPhone. Uh, a laptop? Yes, a laptop. Very good. So next, we have to be on a tight budget. That means you have money, but limited amount of money to spend only. That means to have or to be on a tight budget. Yes, next we have to pick up a bargain. That means to buy something much cheaper than the normal price. Do you want to pick up a bargain? That means on sale. Yes. Shop assistant. This is a person he's who serves customers. You go to the shop assistant if you'd like to buy something that... And you cannot find the other sizes for this one. For example, you'd like to buy a shoe. Then your mm -hmm. shoe size is 7.5 US. Then the only available shoe in the display is 6. So you go to the shop assistant. Excuse me, can you please help me? Can I find if there's 7.5 size on this shoe? Yes, ma'am. Please wait. Yeah, okay, so that's shop assistant. That's the job of a shop assistant. Next, we have to be value for money. To be worth the cost. Example, what's the value of a laptop DM in Vietnam? How much, how much does the laptop in Vietnam? Uh, it is a four hundred dollar. Yes, that's it. So that is worth of the cost of laptop in Vietnam. So next, we have a window shopping. Yes, window shopping is very famous. <laughs> when I was in high school, we just go to the mall and window shopping. We just visit a store to look at items without the intention of buying anything. Yeah, yeah. we will just, for example, this tumbler. Wow, this is nice, but we don't buy it. We just put it back. <laughs> yeah, that's window shopping. So now can you repeat all the useful vocabulary we have? Yeah. Big brand name, mm -hmm. to, to be careful with money, high sweet name, must have produced, to be on a tight body, to pick up a building, shop, ass shop assistant, to be available for money, window shopping. Very good. So do you have any question regarding this one? No. No. So let's proceed with... Phrasal verbs for shopping. We have here bring down. That means reduce the amount of something. Example, we aim to bring down prices on all our computers. For example, the original price of computer is $400. So you are planning to bring it down. So that would be $150. Instead of $400, you're going to pay $150. Next. Pay for, this means to give money in order to buy something. Example, I paid money for that sofa, so, so it should last. Yeah. Put on to see something is worth trying. For example, Dorothy put on her, put on her coat. This means fitting. Before buying the product, you need to put in this one first to, to try if this product suit you. Yes. Queue up. Wait for something in a line. Some people queued up all night to get in the store. Next, shop around. Compare prices before buying. Where do you want? I just want to shop around to see some shoes. You go to Adidas shop. You go to Nike shop, Under Armour shop to compare the prices. We often shop around for the best deal, which is more cheaper or more worth it to buy. Take off, remove a piece of clothing. He took off my wet boots and made me sit by the fire. Pop into, that means to visit briefly. I'm going to pop into the store for a moment. Try out, this means test something to see if you like it. John hopes to try out his new running shoes this weekend. Try on, this means to put on a piece of clothing to see if it fits. It's just like put on and try on. 
you should try the shoes on before you buy them. So now, Diem, do you have any question? Rigo, I want. I wait. I want you to repeat all the phrasal verbs first. I bring down, pay for, put on, clean up, shop around, take up, up into, try out, try on. Okay. So, do you have any question regarding this one? No. Do you understand all of this? Yeah. Good. So now let's proceed with fashion victim. When you say fashion victim, it is a person who follows popular trends in dress and behavior slavishly. Okay, so I think this is you because you like to follow trends, right? Yeah. Okay, so you are a fashion victim. Yes. So here, let's talk about an expensive thing that you bought recently. So you said that you went for shopping on Monday, last Monday. So did you buy anything, DM? I buy a, a jacket, t-shirt. Okay. So why did you bought the jacket? Because the jacket is very beautiful and I very like it. Okay, so how do you use it? I use it uh, for the uh, some uh, some meeting with friend. Yes. Okay, so explain your feelings after you bought that jacket or after you purchased the jacket. Uh, it's very... Uh... Very comfort comfortable. Okay, so it's very comfortable. Great. So now, let's proceed with our speaking part two. Let me check the time. Okay. So we still have almost 30 minutes. So here, this is speaking part two. I want you to look at the postcards. These are the postcards. And you ask a question. Yes. You see yeah. this one here and you answer your own question. You can start them. Oh, uh, what name of the, what name the new teacher? What the subject he did? Where where are the new teacher from? When he start the uh, this uh this work? Uh, is he play uh some club? This is play some sport. Yeah. Okay, so now you answer the question what is the name of the new teacher? New uh the new teacher is Mid Tom Copper. Okay, what does he teach? He is English and French. Yes. So where does he came from? He came from uh, Canada. When the when does he start teaching? Uh, from next Monday, our noon. Okay. Uh, does he play any sport? He want to uh, have a football club after school. Okay, great job, DM. So now. Let's proceed with this one. You can ask a question and you answer it. Where the, uh, where is the library? Uh, what time the library open? Uh, what does the library have the city? It, it is free. It is have a computer. Okay. So where is the library located? Uh, it's next to cinema. Uh, it's next to city museum. 
Okay, so when are they open? Bye. Uh, it is 9.30 a.m. at 5 p.m. Okay. So, do they have CDs? Uh, they, yes, they have their book, video, music, uh, CD. Is it free? Uh, is it on euro per week? Yes. One vid uh, of the video is one year, one euro per week. Okay. Do they have computers? Um, they have uh, they have shell computer on for this floor. Great job, Diem. Okay, so here at it is. Based on the given information. I want you to talk about the central library. Tell me about the central library based on this information. Uh, this central, central library uh, have a book, video, music, CD. If you want to uh, have some video, uh, you must if uh on euro per week, uh this library open on Monday or uh, for Saturday at two p.m. to five p.m. It have a twenty computer on for the floor. Uh, it's in uh, next to cinema museum, city museum. Okay, very good. So now let's proceed. Oh, wow, we're done. So I think after this one DM is, wait a minute, it's a regular test. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we will just have the regular test. Yeah, here it is. Are you now ready to proceed with regular test? No. No. <laughs> but we still have time, so what are we going to do? Yeah, so here it is. Let me open DM. 179 test 4. Okay, so this is test 4. Yeah, for the listening, you are allowed to listen twice. Can you see the screen clearly? Yeah. Okay, so here is number one. You will hear five short conversation, then you choose the correct answer. Excuse me, can you tell me the way to the post office, please? Uh, yes, go along this street and turn right. The post office is on the left-hand side. Turn right and it's on the left. Thank you. You're welcome. Again. Excuse me, can you tell me the way to the post office, please? Uh, yes, go along this street and turn right. The post office is on the left-hand side. Turn right and it's on the left. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so what's the answer, DM? Uh, C? Okay. Number two, what time will the train arrive? Please listen.
I'm sorry. Oh my god, why is it? It doesn't have a sound. To wait ah. another 24. Sorry. Oh no, the train is going to be late. What time will it get here? At a quarter past five. What's the time now? It's ten to five. We'll have to wait another 25 minutes. Listen again. Oh no, the train is going to be late. What time will it get here? At a quarter past five. What's the time now? It's ten to five. We'll have to wait another 25 minutes. Hey. Okay. So let's proceed here. What does the man want to buy? Are you going shopping? Yes, I need some clothes for Alison's wedding next week. Aren't you going to wear your blue suit? Yes, but I need a new shirt. My white one looks very old, and it doesn't look very good with my tie. Again. Are you going shopping? Yes, I need some clothes for Alison's wedding next week. Aren't you going to wear your blue suit? Yes, but I need a new shirt. My white one looks very old, and it doesn't look very good with my tie. What does the man want to buy? Uh, hey. Okay. So what will they buy? What shall we buy Emma for her birthday? How about perfume? We bought her perfume last year, remember? Why don't we get her a book? Good idea. I know she likes cooking. Let's get a book about making really nice cakes. Okay, listen again. What shall we buy Emma for her birthday? How about perfume? We bought her perfume last year, remember? Why don't we get her a book? Good idea. I know she likes cooking. Let's get a book about making really nice cakes. Hey. Okay, very good. Here, listen. Can I help you? Uh, yes, I booked a room for two nights, Wednesday night and Thursday night. But I'd like to stay for one more night, please. Okay, so you want to stay here on Friday night too? Yes. That's fine. I'll arrange that for you. Again. Can I help you? Uh, yes, I booked a room for two nights, Wednesday night and Thursday night. But I'd like to stay for one more night, please. Okay, so you want to stay here on Friday night too? Yes. That's fine. I'll arrange that for you. Okay, what's your answer? B. E. Okay, very good. So let's proceed with task two. I want you to listen to Jane talking to her friend Marian about her American cousin. So let's listen carefully. Now listen to the conversation. Hi, Marian. My American cousins are arriving a day early, on Sunday, not Monday. So they'll be here for an extra day. Yes. When they arrive, shall we take them to Pizza Roma? What a good idea. The coffee and ice cream are not very good, but they'll love the pizza. After that, we can go to the cinema. I heard that Friends and Enemies is very good. That finished last week. Hmm. What about... Purple Rain, or that new film, Catch a Train. Yes, let's get tickets for that. Okay, I think they'll enjoy that. What about a boat trip on Tuesday morning? Isn't there an early boat at half past eight? Yes, but won't that be too early? Hmm, maybe. There's a boat at 11.30, which returns at about half past one. Fine. What about Wednesday? Well, on Wednesday, we can go to the sea. Shall we go on our bicycles? Well, it's cheaper than going by bus. And the train is so slow. <laughs> okay, so let's take our bicycles. Okay, listen again. Now listen to the conversation. Hi, Marion. My American cousins are arriving a day early. On Sunday, not Monday. 
So they'll be here for an extra day? Yes. When they arrive, shall we take them to Pizza Roma? What a good idea. The coffee and ice cream are not very good, but they'll love the pizza. After that, we can go to the cinema. I heard that Friends and Enemies is very good. That finished last week. Hmm. What about Purple Rain? Or that new film, Catch a Train? Yes. Let's get tickets for that. OK. I think they'll enjoy that. What about a boat trip on Tuesday morning? Isn't there an early boat at half past eight? Yes, but won't that be too early? Hmm, maybe. There's a boat at 11.30, which returns at about half past one. Fine. What about Wednesday? Well, on Wednesday, we can go to the sea. Shall we go on our bicycles? Well... It's cheaper than going by bus, and the train is so slow. <laughs> okay, so let's take our bicycles. Okay, so great job. So let's proceed with our reading and writing. I want you to match um, numbers 1 to 5 to letters A to H. Yeah, so number one, you should be careful because this will burn. What's your answer for number one? You.
which I have been in. Mm -hmm. You should be careful because this will burn. Very good. You shouldn't take loudly here. You must pay the same. We should keep this in a cold place. Be careful when you cross the road. Great job. Okay. So now let's proceed with task four. I want you to read the article about a young boy who wants to be a footballer. And you sentence if this is right, wrong, or doesn't say. A for right, B for wrong, and C for doesn't say. I want you to read the story, A New Young Player, loudly. A new young player for our interview this week, we talked to James Givenishan, the newest and youngest football player with the Manchester, Manchester. until young player team James was in football school come with 15 other young players and he was the winner. James is still very young, only 16, but now he is going to play for Manchester and he told me that he feel very happy and excited about this because he has all the way dream of playing football for a famous club. He was playing football all his life and he remembers scoring his first goal at school when he was only six years old because James has to spend a lot of time with the Manchester until young player team. He can go to school lucky him. But the club makes sure he continued his lesson with a teacher at his home to show James does not miss anything from school, including homework. James is able to phone his friend every day and sometimes he sends them an email. He can see them as much as he wants to, but they often come to watch him play football for the Manchester and young player team at the weekend. Okay, so how do you read this word, DM? Antis. You say United. 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 Yeah, United. Okay, so number one, all the players in the competition now play for Manchester United. Is this right, wrong, or doesn't say? Cry. Right, okay. Number two, Jamie is too young to play for Manchester United. Uh, didn't say. Mm -hmm. Number three, Jamie is pleased about playing for Manchester United. Uh, right. Great. Okay. So number four, Jamie scored his first goal at the age of six. Right. Number five, Jamie is with the team every day of the week. Didn't say. Okay. Jamie doesn't have to do any any school work. Uh, didn't say. Jamie sometimes sees his friends during the week.
wrong. What? Wrong. Okay. So now let's proceed with our speaking. What's your name? My name is Tia. What's your address? Uh, in um, Hattic City. Yeah. Can you spell the name of your street, please? Uh, it's at Dong, Dong Kui Street. How do you spell that? D O N G Q U E. Q U E. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Uh, I have two two young brother. Okay, what kind of music do you like? I like uh pop music and uh and romantic music. Wow, romantic music. Yeah, that's my genre when it comes to music also. Okay, so here it's all about the youth club. I want you to ask and answer the question using the given cards. Hmm. Yeah, you can ask and answer the question. Just like what you did in our speaking. When you look at this one, you ask a question and you answer here. Yeah. Uh, what is this who for? Who is it for? Who is What's your answer? Who is the youth club for? Oh, who is Use club for? Yeah. So what's your what, answer? Uh, it's uh for under seventeen and over twenty. Twelve. That's twelve. Yeah. Okay. Continue. What they what did they of uh, this club open? Mm -hmm. Uh, it's seven p.m. and 7 p.m. to? And to, to 11 p.m. Very good. Uh, what the cost uh, of this club is only... It's only 245 euro per week. Mm -hmm. uh, what did... Uh, we do in this club. Uh, we dance, sing, and uh, music, and play game. Where, where is this uh club? Uh, is uh in. It's in eighty nine Cambridge Street. Okay, great job. So finally, we're done with our um, lesson and regular test. So do you have any question to me, Diem, before we end? Uh, no. Okay, so we will just end here. Thank you so much for joining our class. So please take note that we don't have class on Friday. Okay, Diem? Okay. Yeah, so I'll be meeting you next week, Monday. Okay. Yeah. So I will just send your evaluation together with the message that I'll be absent on Friday. So do you have any more question to me? No. Okay, so we will just end here. Thank you so much for joining our class, Dem. I hope to see you next week. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Bye.
Good afternoon, teacher. I am. Yes, good afternoon, Vivi. Um, I will just uh, fix my camera. I will be back after 15 minutes. Okay, please. You can re-enter again after 15 minutes, Vivi. Is that okay? Yeah, hello? Please wait me 15 minutes, okay, Vivi? Yes. Okay.